everyone. So right now I'm in a weird setup, but that is because I am using my monitor to edit a lot of the videos that are coming up for you guys. So stay tuned for that. But today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, you have probably seen a lot of these type of videos before, but I am going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day. So what I'm showing you is something for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. I love these kinds of videos so much. One, they give me a lot of inspiration to see what's in my kitchen uh, and eat more healthy. And two, it just satisfies my cravings because I see what other people eat and it looks so good. So I'm going to be trying to plate everything nicely, show you guys what I realistically eat in a day. And yeah, so I'll take you guys on this journey with me. So follow along. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, this is a weird angle, but before we start cooking breakfast, my first actual or not really breakfast, but my first thing I do in the day, what I ingest is water. Um, it's very, very important that you always drink water. Um, and then after that, I'll incorporate some type of food, I'll incorporate coffee, etc. But I can't, I usually don't drink or eat anything until I start drinking some water. So. Okay, so as far as breakfast goes, I personally like to eat a heavy breakfast. I know a lot of people eat yogurt, a lot of people eat cereal, a lot of people eat very, very light breakfasts. I'm not that type of person because if I eat a very light breakfast, I will literally either snack or make another breakfast in like an hour. So I like to fill up my body with a heavy breakfast at the beginning. I know a lot of people will be like, oh, that's really bad because you're going to turn sluggish. It just this has been working for me for a good amount now, and I think a heavy breakfast is just the route for me. So I'm going to be making a breakfast burrito. Okay, so my version of a burrito is going to be slightly different. These are probably not going to be normal burrito ingredients. But right now, but I have this Aladdin Baker's sun-dried tomato and basil tortilla. I like flavored tortillas more than plain white tortillas I think they just taste better so I go with this I have rice here that way it's a little bit more filling and I also have carbs I have an egg that I will scramble and add into my tortilla I have bacon I have an avocado that I need to use so I'm gonna use this as my spread and I've been weirdly obsessed with pickles I actually made this yesterday so I'm gonna be adding some pickles into my or some pickled onions into my tortilla so hopefully this all tastes good and i'll show you what it looks like now I like a well-seasoned avocado spread, so I'm going to be using a good amount of seasoning, that way it's more flavorful. So I'm adding some salt, some pepper. I love spice, so I'm going to be using some crushed red pepper. And I like a little bit of citrus in my uh, avocado spread too, so I add a little bit Baby, I'm 
All right, so let me plate this up, um, add some veggies and then maybe some sriracha and then I will show you guys what it looks like. All right, and here is breakfast for today. Now again, this is an avocado with rice and bacon and egg burrito. I added some cherry tomatoes just because I wanted a little hint of citrus and uh, acidity in my, just because my burrito is very greasy. Um, some sriracha because I like a little bit of a kick. And of course, we have iced coffee because I need it. Okay, so now let's dig in to my little burrito. The plating is not that cute, but what's more important is eating it actually. So let's dig in. Mmm, that is really good. Now I didn't use any oil in this, I actually used the fat from the bacon to cook the rice in, which is why it tastes very bacony. This is really good. I'm gonna add some sriracha. Mm. The pickled onion in this balances out the greasiness of the bacon and the rice and then the sriracha gives it a hint of sweetness to it and spice so i think this is a really really good breakfast i'm gonna finish eating this and i will see you guys for lunch all right welcome back it is time for lunch now because i did eat a really heavy burger i either skip lunch or eat something very very small which is why i like heavy breakfast so that i don't need to snack or i don't need to find something to interrupt my workflow. That's why I'd rather eat something super heavy. That way I don't need to eat anything after. But for the sake of this video, let's find out what I'm gonna eat. It's either gonna be a piece of fruit, it's either gonna be something um, like a small little cake or something like that, but let's see what's in my fridge. Okay, so remember I don't eat that heavy for lunch, so I think I'm just gonna have some fruit. Let me plate this up and then I'll show you what I'm having. And here is my finished lunch. So my outer ring are either tangerines or clementines, and then the inner ring is a very, very small plum. The plum I got at a farmer's market, and then the tangerine or clementine I got at a supermarket. If I am feeling a little bit spicy, I do like to put this in a yogurt, or I like to put this, uh, I like to put like little cacao nibs or something like that, but because I did eat a really heavy breakfast burrito, I'm just gonna stick to this for lunch. And I'll see you for dinner. Sorry if the lighting here is like really intense. My room actually faces the sun. So I'm really sorry if I'm also like squinting, but now it is dinner. It is currently six o'clock here in New York. Around this time, I usually get really, really hungry because I either skipped lunch or I ate something really, really small for lunch. But right now, let's head over and make some dinner. My dinners are usually just as heavy as my breakfasts. I mean, come on, it's dinner. But this time it's gonna be a little bit more different. My boyfriend actually isn't here. He is at his friend's house. And when he's here, I usually make much more extravagant, better dinners, fish, chicken, beef, etc. But because he's not here, he's coming home at like 10 or 11. I'm gonna be making myself dinner by myself and when I make it for myself, I'm usually a little bit more lazier. I'd rather just cook something simple and go on about my night, but I'm going to be making some spicy ramen with some spicy dumplings and maybe add a few vegetables and all that. So follow me and let's get some dinner. Like I said before, this is gonna be some fancy dinner that I'm gonna make for me and my boyfriend. So I'm just gonna keep it simple. I have the Samyang, spicy chicken uh, ramen or spice like fire noodle ramen with their actual blue back dumpling brand so these are spicy dumplings with the flavor of this inside the filling so spicy ramen with spicy dumplings and i also have some cheese ravioli the reason why i want to add this is because i also want to add some cheese into the ramen plus this will technically not really fill me up so I also want to add a little bit of pasta to, you know, add some more carbs into my diet because I love carbs. 
Now I'm only gonna add a few pieces. I'm hoping both of these cook at the same time. I generally don't like to cook this too long because I don't like that mushy uh, ramen texture. So I'm gonna, hopefully this will be done in five minutes. I'm gonna cover the lid of my pot, that way it cooks faster. And then I'm gonna add some broccoli. I'm gonna add some cherry tomatoes and some scallion at the top. And that will be dinner for today. So I'll see you guys when it's done. Now the only weird thing I realized from cooking these bulldog dumplings is that you actually don't steam them. I know a lot of dumplings they tell you to add some oil and then steam it with a little bit of water. This actually only tells you to just pan fry it in oil which weirds me out slightly because these are frozen so they do stick together um so i don't know how like the wrapper softens so i make it my way i'm really sorry if you make it your way and it offends you but i do with the traditional dumpling or packaged dumpling way which is oil plus water to steam so i'm going to do it that way Now, do you see my problem? I can't take this out and it's destroying the dumpling. So I don't understand why this company tells me to just cook it in foil when the thing doesn't want to separate. So I am going to put some water in here so that the steam from the water softens the wrapper because this is already starting to cook. Um, but yeah, that's the only complaint about what I have about the dumpling. Like the cooking method is just easier. So I'll be back. But my ramen is boiling and hopefully the ravioli also cooks. Now I'm putting in the devil sauce. dumpling looks after they've been cooked in oil and steamed you see how it just glides off the clump just disappears that makes much more sense to me than actually cooking it just in oil and hoping for the best so samyang get your dumpling stuff together and please start making correct directions like 
this is what I am eating for dinner today. Again, it's not that normal for me to eat this. This is usually what I eat when I'm just here by myself and I'm too lazy to cook for myself. But I'm gonna dig this down because I do love spicy ramen and spicy dumplings. I think I was a little bit out of the zone when I was cooking the scallion because I realized I could have also used it as garnish. I think I just wasn't in the right headspace, but I should have put it on the top. Unfortunately, I put it all inside the inside the ramen and I ran out. So I'm pretend that this dried parsley is scallion. But let's dig in and eat. All right, let's chow down. Now I'm not gonna lie to you and say, oh my God, this is so good because I've eaten this billions of times. So yes, this is good. So easy, literally does not take that long. And it's very, very satisfying. If you are the type of person that doesn't get full easily, I probably don't recommend this because this isn't heavy. But I like this a lot. I think it's simple. This does fill me up, especially if I had more pasta into this. So I'm gonna chow this down and finish off. And that is what I eat in a day. Now remember, dinner isn't like that, but that's what I generally eat in a day. I am pretty consistent with a heavy breakfast and a skip meal lunch. So yes, this is a realistic what I eat in a day. I really hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. Let me know if you enjoyed them. Comment down below what other videos I should do. Give this a thumbs up. I may do more of these. You never know. But I hope you guys enjoy. If this gives you inspiration, let me know. I really hope you guys take the time to look at the video and see if this gives you inspiration to cook for yourself. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Please subscribe, it means the world to me and I will see you guys in the next video.